no matter how good you are, no matter how fast you are, no matter how smart you are, no matter how strong you are, there is always someone out there who will be bigger, faster, smarter, or stronger. So what do you do? You can't always control who or what you're up against, but you can always control your effort. You must outwork every single one of those people you're competing with. When you find yourself up against other people and see yourself falling behind, are you the person who gives up and gives in? Are you the person who starts making excuses for why you're not doing as much as you could? Are you the person who finds it a reason to start doing things you're not supposed to? Taking breaks? Slacking off? Sleeping in? Eating like crap? Or are you the one who sees opportunity? The opportunity to get ahead of everyone else. The opportunity to work harder and perform better when it's game time. The opportunity to improve yourself and hold yourself accountable to what you know you can achieve if you really tried your hardest. In the shadows and darkness, when most people are still in bed or have gone home already, where you fight to become the best version of yourself every damn day. It's that process of pushing yourself to perform better. That's what stretches you to reach higher and higher levels. You don't become number one by taking it easy. You become number one by pushing yourself to the outer limits of your capabilities. It's these quiet, unseen moments that legends are made. You're not there to participate. You're there to fucking dominate. You gotta refuse to accept that you are what you are and that what your life is like now is what you're doomed to be forever. No, you fight. You scratch and claw every day to improve just a little bit. Weeding out all those weaknesses you have sneaking around in your brain. You weed those out with discipline, forcing yourself to execute on your mission for the day. Doing those hard things you have resistance from doing. And as you shut down those weaknesses, as you continue to prune out all the fickle feelings of laziness, you are literally building mental strength. You become tougher through completion. When you get hard stuff done, it builds your belief in your vision. It builds belief in your company. It builds belief in your ideas. It builds belief in yourself. So while most people are sitting around waiting for change, making all these amazing plans for how to revolutionize their lives and become better, you get your ass up and get to fucking work. Plans don't change people. Action changes people. So make movement, move forward every day of your life. If they make 10 sales, you make 20. If they work eight hours, you work 10. Whatever they do, I need you to do just a little more because when you add up all those extra bits of effort, day after day after day, that's gonna make the difference between winning and losing. When others start slacking off, making excuses, you see a golden opportunity. It's your chance to double down, to push harder when everyone else is easing up. Every setback, every obstacle is a chance to show what you're made of. It's a chance to toughen up to hone your skills, to rise above the bullshit. You might not control the raw talent, but you sure as hell control the effort. It's about grinding harder, pushing further, sweating more. It's about turning every damn ounce of your being into a relentless pursuit of excellence. You become the fucking nightmare of everyone in your field because while they're resting on their laurels, you're out there grinding, improving, outworking every single one of them. You don't just aim to keep up. You aim to leave them all in your fucking dust. I dominate. When I die, you ain't gonna forget my name. I dominate this doggone thing. I dominate. Where I go, stuff happen. I dominate. If you gonna win, you just can't play this game because there are other teams that want to do exactly what you got to do. So what you got to do in practice is dominate in practice. Some of y'all, that's your problem. You think that you can dominate when the lights come on. If you can't dominate in practice, you can't dominate when the lights come on. I get up every morning at 3 o'clock. I dominate at 3 o'clock in the morning. I dominate when everybody sleeps. I dominate at 4 in the morning, 6 in the morning. Why? Because y'all just getting up. I dominate in the dark. 
I dominate when nobody sees me. Because you just got to get there before the genius get there. They ain't waking up to eight. So if you get up at three, you ain't got to be smarter than them. You just got to be quicker than them. You just got to be faster than them. You just got to get to the spot before they get to the spots. You ain't got to be them. You ain't got to be on their level. You don't have to be as smart. You don't have to become them. You can stay you, but you got to get there before they get there if you're going to stay you. Are we the underdogs? Good. That's where legends rise. They overlook us, we overperform. They doubt us, we outdo. We keep moving, we keep pushing, unstoppable. Let's call our names right here and right now. I guarantee you, when I line up and they line up, I want what all other men want. But when the challenge hits, when the opposition hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. And if you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm gonna destroy you. And so that's how I conquer, and that's how nobody has ever beaten me yet. Like when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. I need you to eat, sleep, breathe, dominate. We're not playing to the level of our competition no more. You're gonna look at film in a way they don't look at film. You're gonna practice in a way they don't practice. Listening to coach, paying attention, being locked in and focused. Everything you do is gonna be in a way that nobody else does. You can't win it if you can't see it. You gotta see each one. You gotta see yourself winning in practice. You gotta see yourself winning the game. The championship, you gotta see yourself. Wake up every single day. I was here before I was here. I was in this spot right here. I was talking from right here. I envisioned it. I saw it already. But I see it before it happens. Discipline means that you dominate when you feel like it and you dominate when you don't feel like it. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Those are the things that make up success and that's discipline. You have to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know it needs to be fucking done. You train hard. Push limits, learn every single day. That's our backbone. That's our hustle. This is our turn. Our unwavering will. Every tackle, every move is for something bigger. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Embrace the process, trust the process, but most importantly, you gotta respect the process. Talent would never supersede it. If we respect it the way we say we respect it, if we love it the way we say we love it, if we cherish it the way we say we cherish it, every single day should be nothing less than excellence. You might not always be your best, but you can always bring me your best. It's about outworking, outlasting, and outperforming. Not just others, but your past self. It's about the relentless pursuit of excellence, the unyielding discipline, and the unstoppable force of taking action every single day. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm going to harness this. Sh it is only up from here. I'm going to come back even stronger.